This is the chest supported seated row from Life Fitness, and the way this machine is set up makes it perfect to execute a row for the mid back. Now starting off with the grip, we're going to be using a neutral grip grabbing the middle part of those handles. This grip is going to allow us to get the most amount of everything of that mid back, so rear delts, traps, rhomboids, and a little bit of those lats, whereas those top grips will mean more use of those traps, and the bottom ones for the underhand grip will mean more use of the biceps, which is not ideal because you want to minimize uh, bicep involvement and maximize involvement of the back. Now for the head of that seat, we want to adjust it in a spot, so whenever we're pulling backwards at the very back, those arms are making a 45 degree angle with that torso. And what that means for the path of those hands as you're pulling backwards is that at the very back those hands will be between the bottom of the chest and that belly button and for that chest pad make sure it's far enough backwards to where when you have those hands out in front of you fully extended you're not hitting the top of that weight stack however make sure it's not too far backwards or else the arm path will feel a little weird it'll have too much of an arc and when you pull backwards it'll force your arms up a little bit too much and of course have those feet at the bottom of those foot pads that way you could brace effectively with those legs now when it comes to the rowing motion of this machine the most important part is is trying to pull through those elbows and try not to pull upwards with those hands and use the biceps. Now a technique to help do this is as you start pulling backwards, imagine like you're trying to pull those elbows and hands just a little bit downwards as you pull backwards. And in order to feel a good amount of tension on those rear delts, as you pull backwards, imagine like you're trying to push those elbows out to the side a little bit. Same on that way forward, imagine like you're trying to push those elbows out to the side, it'll help you keep a lot more tension through those rear delts and a lot less through the bicep. Also during that eccentric on that way forward, allow those shoulders to roll forward and have that upper back round as you can see right here to allow more lengthening of those traps and rhomboids. And not that like eccentric, as you pull backwards, imagine like you're trying to push that chest upwards towards the ceiling, pushing that rib cage and belly button slightly forward and trying to drive those shoulders downwards towards the ground. Try to get as much shortening of the musculature of that mid back by pulling those elbows as far back as you possibly can while keeping that torso in contact with that bench. As you can see right here, I am pulling backwards. My upper chest is slightly coming off that bench, but my torso and the bottom of that chest is still maintaining contact with that chest pad. Once you feel like you're using too much of the biceps, not feeling the contraction of those traps as much, and using a little bit too much body sway, that means you are really getting close to failure and shouldn't try to execute many more reps after that. As always, make sure you go nice and controlled on that eccentric. Do not rush these. Allow that upper back to round and have those shoulders roll forward. And at the back, make sure you're getting a good pause and squeeze to make sure you're contracting those rear delts, traps, and rhomboids. Now, if it's your first time doing this exercise or a row similar to this one, make sure you are going a little bit lighter in weight, focusing on getting that contraction at the very back and building that mammoth connection with those rear delts, traps, and those rhomboids. Now, if you don't have this machine at your gym, you could also substitute it for a chest supported T-bar row, which is one of my personal favorites. And if you don't have either of these machines, in the description, I will link a row using a cable setup, which most gyms have. Also, if you want to add 10 more pounds of muscle, what you got to do is hit that like and that subscribe button so you get more tutorial videos just like this one, helping you get more gains.